extreme programming is one of the agile methods and it's actually one of the most agile methods that currently exists or has a sane method that currently exists on the sustainability model. Uh, the a extreme programming that is said to be one of the most radical departures from the general or traditional software engineering process models we which for example rational unified process represents and still maintain some form of of control or reasonability or sanity to actually function as a software development model. The creators Ken Beck, Ward Cunningham and Ron Jeffries are all well-known software engineers and uh, especially Kent Beck who is also involved in test-driven development approach. Basically this the extreme programming model is something that illustrates most of the departure points of agile development concepts mentioned in the Agile Manifesto. For example, the extreme programming aims at, at quite a few things. First of all, responsiveness to customer needs and constant feedback on all levels and high quality of product. Of course, this also has the restriction that we have to have relatively small teams since our development work relies on personal feedback and we have to have really great access to our customers and also joint working environment which means that we have all the people in the project available at all times or at most times. Additionally things like automated unit and functional testing are promoted since it takes away the workload from the developers. Basically, the extreme programming is something that actually encom encompasses all the activities from software design to a release. The idea is that we collect user stories. These are basically the same thing as the use cases. Make requirements, make some sort of architectural spike, meaning a pro quick proof of concept prototype and system test and then we get to do release planning uh, from release planning to iteration to acceptance test back to iteration so that we have constantly evolving design constantly evolving iterations and that we have acceptance tests on all our products this also includes things like always having something that compiles and runs available and the spikes here mean that they are just focused workload spikes, like a spike in activity chart, things like that. So, uh, the planning phase, well, it really doesn't have many things uh, which are defined, because we are more focusing on applying people's personal experience, experience with platform, experience with the similar projects and user stories, we more or less plan a schedule, a, a release list, what will be on the next iteration, what are the requirements, what are the features, and then do that small iteration. And if we have problem, we simply send some other person or move people around so that everyone is always on their comfort zone. The design promotes simplicity uh, and system metaphors, meaning that we are always building something that we kinda know or can, uh, can get the idea that how this system will work. And no functionalities and refuck added early and refactoring, which the refactoring meaning that we rewrite entire module or system part when we need to have new functionality or sort out a mess of a code or do optimization work and stuff like that. In coding, iterate, integrate often, uh, no overtime work optimization will be done when we have functionality and we can always ask customer if we need something explained to us are uh, actually well really 
interesting features. One really interesting thing is that the, there's absolute no overtime thinking here. So we don't do crunches, we don't do weekend work, we don't do anything like that if we need to have more refined version. The idea is that we don't want to burn out our people. The testing work is done concurrently with the development and all code must have unit tests to cover all the main traces, all the features must have unit tests and all code must pass these tests before anything is released. If we find a bug, we make a test which will find it on the subsequent versions and basically what we are doing is test-driven development although we are saying it at this point extreme programming. So we write tests which break the code, we fix the code and keep doing this until we are satisfied with the quality. Basically this works other way around than normal, de normal development. Normally we make the tests out of use cases and we try to see that everything happens as intended. In this test driven approach we make test cases which specifically aim to main the system so that we actually have to do revisioning and fixing stuff and ensure that everything functions correctly. So basically this is a picture I picked out from uh, one of the extreme programming websites and it's something that quite tells us what the extreme programming is all about. So we are uh, focusing on the next task or failed acceptance test, we do simple design using CRC cards. We create a unit test, we purposely fail the unit test so we can do programming work. If we need help, we get people, move people around to have always the optimal distribution of people. We do refactoring when our code is to complicated or becomes too bloated in any way. We do continuous integration to keep one uh, compilable version available at all times and we do automated testing to ensure that all our unit tests are passed on the most recent and applicable version. And if we have acceptance tests passed and all the features existing then we are done with the probe system. Similarly, this is the other part of the extreme programming, which is what uh, illustrates their uh, design. The constant feedback loop. So basically, we have release plan, which gives us monthly idea of what's going on. Iteration plan, for one iteration, which is in weeks. Acceptance test results, which gives information about what has happened recently. Stand up meeting in every morning to give us one information about one day. Pair negotiation, because everyone should be working with a uh, partner, gives us hourly information, unit tests, mi in information in minutes, and pair programming, meaning that there's two people working on one workstation, gives us uh, results in seconds. So if we apply all these different approaches, we have constant feedback and we should expect better quality if the team is experienced enough. So this is basically what's extreme programming. This is really different from the rational unified process or waterfall and it, if we consider it more uh, closely there are several concepts which are really similar to Scrum. The extreme programming I uh, in my opinion, the extreme programming has only the problem that it's it tried to be too radical departure too early, and it also suffer a bit from PR because extreme programming this and extreme that uh, gained of a bit of an unprofessional sounding terminology. Extreme programming is not cowboy coding, it's more or less just really agile 
approach where we try to use customer as our documentation base, providing that we have a customer who's able to tell us what they want and still get things done with relatively small amount of administration.